U.S. Special Operations Units on their way to Iraq and Afghanistan are trained in Israel by Israeli experts in tackling suicide bombers, car bombs, improvised explosive devices, the IEDs. In Afghanistan and Iraq, Israeli armor plating technology installed on U.S. military vehicles minimizes U.S. fatalities. An innovative Israeli bandage is employed to stop severe bleeding of injured U.S. soldiers. Moreover, the current F-16 fighter plane includes over 700 Israeli-originated modifications derived from Israel's Air Force battle experience, maintenance, and repairs. These modifications have dramatically improved the quality and global competitiveness of the F-16. It has enhanced American research and development, exports, and employment, yielding mega billion dollar bonanza to the manufacturer General Dynamics in Fort Worth, Texas, while advancing U.S. national security. A similar benefit has been rendered to McDonnell Douglas, the manufacturer of the F-15. Substantial benefits are also gained by U.S. manufacturers of the roughly hundreds, maybe 1,000 military and homeland security systems employed and enhanced by Israel. In fact, Israel is the most cost-effective battle-tested laboratory for the U.S. defense industry, yielding mega-billion dollar bonanza to the U.S. defense industries. Israel is to the U.S. defense industry what a triple-A tenant is to a shopping mall, enhancing value and drawing clients. According to the late Senator Daniel Inouye, who was the chairman of the Full Appropriations Committee and the Senate Intelligence Committee, the scope of intelligence received by the U.S. from Israel exceeds the scope of intelligence received from all NATO countries combined. General Keegan, the former chief of the U.S. Air Force Intelligence, stated that intelligence shared by Israel with the U.S. was equal to five CIAs. Moreover, U.S. battle tactics are formulated at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, the mecca, intellectual mecca of the U.S. Army. To a large extent, they are formulated in accordance with the Israeli own battle tactics against Arab terrorism and conventional forces. U.S. Air Force holds joint exercises with, Israel's, uh, with the Israeli Air Force, leveraging Israel's unique battle experience. In 1969, Israel shared with the U.S. its own flare system, which diverts anti-aircraft heat-seeking missiles away from their targets. Thus, that Israeli technology saved the lives of many gunship pilots during the Vietnam War. In 1982, Israel devastated 23 most advanced Soviet surface-to-air missile batteries deployed in Lebanon and throughout the globe and considered impregnable. Israel's battle tactics destroying those systems and the electronic warfare were shared with the U.S., thus tilting the global balance of power in favor of the U.S., providing the U.S. defense industries with critical know-how. Israel is, in fact, a strategic beach beachhead of the U.S., as demonstrated in 1981, when Israel devastated Iraq's nuclear reactor in 1981, thus sparing the U.S. a nuclear confrontation against Iraq in 1991. In September 2007, Israel destroyed the Syrian nuclear reactor, thus sparing the world the wrath of a rogue nuclear regime in Damascus. In 2015, it is Israel which fights anti-American Arab terrorists in Lebanon, in uh, Gaza. Those terrorists target Americans and aim to topple pro-U.S. regimes, Egypt, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and the rest of the Gulf. The late General Alexander Haig, a former Supreme Commander of NATO and Secretary of State, summed up the win-win U.S.-Israel ties he described Israel as the largest American aircraft carrier, which cannot be sunk 
does not require a single American boot on board deployed in a most critical area for U.S. interest. And if there were not an Israel in the eastern flank of the Mediterranean, the U.S. would have to deploy a few more aircraft carriers with thousands of U.S. soldiers to the Mediterranean, which would have cost the American taxpayer some $15 billion annually, all of which is spared by Israel, so said General Alexander Haig. Israel is indeed the only stable, reliable, predictable, capable, democratic, unconditional ally of the U.S. And unlike Europe, Israel is an ally able and willing to flex its muscles on behalf of Israel as well as the United States.